Hi everyone, it's Amy and I wanted to show you my vintage suitcase that I picked up at the street fair. I had this in an earlier video and I showed you the inside before I took it apart. But it's really ugly now. As you can see, I took um, some of the pieces out and I'm going to cut some batting um, to show you. This is the old uh, lace that ran around the inside. I'll show you what the inside looks like. So as you can see, I put it out in the sun and dried it all out and just made sure it was as clean as I could get it. And we'll go from here. I'll show you um, what I'm going to do with it. Okay, I got some batting here. Um, it's just a package. Let me get the wrapper. It's um, called Mountain Mist uh, Quilt Batting, and it's I'm going to have a lot left over, so just enough to, to line the inside, the top and the bottom. And what I've done is I cut the batting out to fit. Um, I used the, the pieces of plastic as a template and um, just cut around them and placed the batting in the lid and the bottom, and then I did the sides. And as you can see, I used, um, I'm trimming the edges right now with some scissors, and I used my little fingertip, um, I used three of them to protect my fingertips so I could really, you know, as I put the glue in, I could really press down like this to get a, a good seal, because I'm going to be covering this with fabric next. And it's a hard surface, so I can't put any um, staples or anything like that. I had to purchase a new glue gun and I put the really long sticks in. So if you do a project like this, I'd recommend the long sticks because I've gone through four already. And um, so yeah, I will keep you posted as I go along. Okay, I just covered the inside. Um, I love this fabric. I purchased this fabric um, from eBay and it's a vintage fabric. And I just glued it um, in over the batting so it's got a little bit of cushion. It's really nice. Um, don't look, I didn't have very much, so I had to do a lot of piecing. So don't look at my edges, but this is, it's not very pretty yet, but it's gonna have the lace around the edges. So um, as you can see, I had to do some piecing here and I learned a lot about um, making the corners smooth and so they wouldn't be too tight. So if I ever did another suitcase, I would be um, much better at it. And I put extra glue here in the center so that it would have a good, um, that's where my mirror is gonna go. And so yeah, I will uh, show you the next step and when I put the lace in. Okay, so I've started the top. I have put the mirror in and I have um, attached some lace on each side and I put it on a piece of muslin and glued some, um, some lace around the edge. And what I've done on the inside edge is this beaded lace just run it along the inside edge and then the outside edge. Um, I've put this pleated um, satin trim with lace on it. You can see that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now, you can see that there. I like how it's coming out. Um, I'm going to put this beading. Um, it's kind of iridescent, and if you can see my desk, I've been experimenting a lot with different laces and um, beads and stuff like that, so my desk is a mess. But I will um, continue. I'll put the beads on the top, and then I will start decorating the bottom. So as you can see, I've got my beads started, and I'm not going to use a tripod, but I'm just going to... Um, show you a bit of what I'm doing. I'm putting a little string of glue, really thin, right down the center of that satin pleating. And then I'm attaching 
the bead trim and just pressing it down lightly with my um, my finger which I have my protective protective pad so I'm going to continue doing this and um, I'll show you how it looks I just put in some um, this like one inch wide pleated lace, uh, satin and I'm putting um, these flat back um, bead string on the, along the bottom. I like how that looks. I believe the last lace that I'm going to add is this um, this is a bridal lace from a wedding dress and I purchased this I'll show you how much I purchased it's on this card. I purchased this from a woman on YouTube called Zenderly um, and she always sells um, a lot of vintage laces and she takes apart wedding dresses so I think I'm going to add this at the top and overlap the the top little points and then the scallops will come down um, above the pleats so I will do that and I'll show you the finished product I added this rosette trim. It's got a little silver sparkle along the tips of the uh, petals. It's really pretty and I just thought it needed a touch of pink. So I added a strip across the top and in the center where the suitcase closes. And I've got a bag of um, pink embellishments here so I'm going to check that out and I hope I don't overdo it because I just feel like I can't stop but hey it's an altered <laughs> suitcase I can put as much on here as I want okay so here's the finished product I wanted um, to sh show you from standing back and then I'll take you in for a closer look um, I, I didn't do anything to the outside I don't know what it's like if I put a coat of gesso on it and then um, put some type of weathered finish. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it at this. If any of you have any ideas, just drop me a comment. And um, so I added, as you can see, I added a lot of little embellishments. This is the bottom. I'll take you through. I wanted the edges of the lace to, to stick up a little bit here. And I added that rosette trim like I said. And there's the mirror. And I added some rosette trim along the top. A little little heart down in there and these um, old metal leaves and I don't know about you but I'm not the the most careful with the glue gun so I must have went through maybe 15 of those long glue sticks and I have a couple of blisters on my finger so um, but I love how it turned out. I will probably store my laces in it or even maybe some of my dishes um, and just leave it open um, in my craft room. It does still close, but I think I will just display things in it. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. If you have any access to old suitcases or any yard sales, um, it's a great, fun project. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.